must be hungry. <laughs> Did you know it takes 10 days for civilization to collapse? Yeah. You take away a man's basic needs and he will revert to his primordial instincts in just 10 days. <laughs> That's a difficult thing to understand unless you've lived it. You know, I was in Iraq during the first Gulf War. 82nd Airborne, all Americans, hoorah! One night there was a, an ambush and me and this guy named Miller got separated from the unit. No food, no radio. Nearest base, 200 clicks to the south, so we just started walking. Well, by the third day I knew we were lost. Day six, ran out of water. You know what that's like, don't you? Difficult to swallow. On the seventh day, Miller's legs started going all wonky. Did you know your brain starts to eat your muscles in order to survive? That's why you're so goddamn skinny. And by the eighth day, the wolves were closing in. And I looked at Miller and I could tell we were as good as dead. And I accepted that. And in that acceptance came clarity. You see, I wasn't just looking at Miller. I was looking at an opportunity. And it wasn't something I wanted. It was something that I had to do. It was, it was my test. And you see, Miller's sacrifice wasn't about me walking out of that desert. It was about bringing me here. The weak have their purpose. You'll understand that soon enough. strong enough you have to get out of here before it starts again follow me ain't no 
Unless you're ready to do it. Look. Trials. See? He's got it all planned out. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Then he's got you. It becomes second nature routine. He gets in your head. And you don't even realize it. You can't ever go back. You understand? You can't ever go back. Come on. Truck. My truck's gotta be there. Gotta get on the truck. It's almost done. I've studied the route for weeks. It's the only way out. You'll be safe if you don't. Not yet! Not yet! Oh, fuck! Fuck! No! 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 Sorry! 